Yo, what is up guys? It's Kill Luke for the one here back with some more Clash of Clans and I'm very happy. I'm so happy to finally be posting a video. I know I just I swear I said that in like the video before last, but I've been super busy lately, guys. I just want to, you know, my apologies to you guys that I haven't posted lately. I've just been really busy with work and a little bit of my social life and a lot of the time, you know, I work real early in the morning. And I do landscaping out in the sun and sweat my balls off all day. So by the time I get home, I really, the, doing a video is like one of the last things that I want to do. I usually just take a nap and, and uh, you know, watch Netflix or play Destiny. I just got Destiny. It's pretty fun. I'm just now getting able to go online. So if you want to play Destiny with me, be sure to add Kill Lug for the win on PS4. Anyways, enough about that. Um... In this video, I do want to talk about a couple of things. One of them being, obviously, uh, a huge thing. Uh, I want to talk about the update. The update coming pretty soon. Right here, you can see I just do a little barch. Uh, I didn't really want to go for 100% on this guy because I could tell that the loot was really mostly in his uh, collectors. And that's one thing I used to be real big on at Town on 9. And once I got to Town on 10, I just really started going for 3 stars because the loot was usually pretty spread out, you know. Uh, going against these tunnel tents and whatnot, but anyways, uh, I'm gonna start, you know, going for these really cheap raids again. So, 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 uh, one big thing was that they did this the uh, wizard time, uh, where they have they made the wizard time come out like half as fast or like a quarter as fast, and they reduced the price. Really awesome. I really enjoyed that a lot. I used a ton of wizards during that time. I'm I'm not too sure if it's over yet or not. But uh, on to the next thing. So, oh, right here, by the way, this is a million in loot. And I can't remember how much of it I actually execute, but I think I do get over a million right here. Right here, I was I was raiding a lot. Uh, I don't know why. I think this is, like, whenever I was coming down from the flu or something, and uh, I was just clashing a lot. Or maybe I didn't even have the flu at this point. I just felt like clashing a lot. Uh, this one was kind of weird because this guy had max Teslas, and, uh, like, he didn't even have max air defense. War Max, uh, one of his, one of his, uh, one of his Infernos was Max, but not the other, so this guy had a little bit of a weird base, but anyways, um, okay, so, soon, I'm, I'm reading this off the Clash of Clans Facebook page, which is where I find most of the stuff, even though I kind of hate Facebook now, because people just share a bunch of videos and, and stupid articles, but I still go on there to look at Clash of Clans and, uh, what some people are up to, you know? What some of my buddies in high school and stuff like that are up to that I don't keep in, you know, a whole lot of touch with anymore. Uh, so, yeah. But I just want to talk about this update a lot. Uh, I'm really highly anticipating it. I think it's going to be one of the best updates that Clash has ever made. Uh, but I want to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly of this update because there is a little bit of good, a little bit of, you know, a little bit of bad. Not so much bad, but a little bit of ugly as well. So... Uh, here we go. Soon you can upgrade a row of walls in one go. Walls level 6 plus can also be upgraded with elixir instead of gold. Your choice. So, this is more for the high level players. Obviously at Town Hall 9 there's a huge, huge lapse or whatever. Huge uh, gap in time where you don't need elixir. Like All your troops are maxed. You're just working on your offense. You're working on your walls a bit. Maybe your heroes. And you don't really need Elixir. I mean, you know, if you look back on my channel, I was capped out on Elixir for a very long time uh, at Town Hall 9. And at Town Hall 10, you know, it's it's kind of hard to farm Elixir uh, sometimes because your army is going to be kind of expensive a lot of the time and stuff like that. It's a little bit harder to farm Elixir at Town Hall 10, but this will be, I'd say, a little bit beneficial, you know. Uh, okay, so on to the next thing. I think it's pretty cool. I think that that, that first sneak peek is uh, pretty good a lot of people were complaining about it like saying oh my god i farmed walls with uh gold if not elixir like what is this <laughs> i don't really mind it it's not something for me to complain about personally uh but anyways on to the next thing as i wrap up this raid okay take barching to a whole new level level seven barbarians and archers coming soon to a barracks near you now i think this is amazing i've been waiting for this for a while now uh you know, pretty stoked for that, because obviously you could get the level 6 uh, troops at Town Hall 9. Uh, not, the, not, the, uh, not the wizards, but right here you can see 
this was a million in loot after the league bonus so i don't know take it or leave it i'll probably you know add the title a million in loot raid because it is a million in loot raid uh but i didn't steal a million in loot no don't call me right now uh but anyways about the archers and barbs at level six one thing that I did notice about them is they don't look entirely unique. Uh, one, oh, right here, by the way, I'm going to start my queen to level 20. Really excited for it. I had to tweet it out. Super stoked. Uh, level 20 queen is freaking awesome. People, I've got, I've seen so many complaints on Twitter lately and stuff about how people are saying, oh my god, the queen is so stupid. The AI, the artificial intelligence is so bad after, uh, after that update and i don't really see it i i think i'm pretty good with the queen usually uh, i like to drop her towards the end of the raid you know obviously she's not going to go the right way sometimes if you drop her at the very start of the raid so you just got to be smart with her and she still is very very good uh especially with that ability she's pretty dope they they really nerfed the king but the queen is freaking awesome now so anyways here's another million in loot raid I'm not sure if I get it all once again. This is kind of old gameplay. Oh no, this one I executed like a god. This raid was hella tight. Y'all watch this raid. Uh, anyways, yeah, look at that raid spell. It's freaking insane how much my wizards and giants do. And hopefully you guys enjoy this, you know, just, it's not with hog. This is not like a go wipe or anything too crazy. Just executing million and loot raids with a normal army, man. Just the giants, archers, gobs. And a couple wizards thrown in there that definitely did help out on this raid. Uh, but just, yeah, watch this raid and hopefully you can learn something from it. So anyways, uh, one thing that I didn't like about the... Alright, alright, let's say, let's say what I did like about the level 7 troops. I uh, like how they got the gold, you know, instead of just straight, you know, like gun metal around the uh, barbarian's helmet. That looks pretty cool. I, I, you know, kind of like that part of it. They didn't switch it up too much. Uh, I would have I liked if they put some red on it, I'm not going to lie. Also, for the archer, uh, she's still got the purple hair. She's got some little, like, tear that's going around her head that looks pretty tight, actually. Uh, still got the purple, purple, uh, not the bow, but the, uh, crap, I can't think of the freaking word right now. Not a purple bow, but a purple, I don't know, archer shot, whatever it's called. Uh, anyways, they brought back the green cape in the green dress for her which I didn't really understand because that's what it was at level 5 and you think I mean I wish that they would have brought you know red in there because obviously tunnel 10 is red the level 6 wizard was red you know I kind of wish that they actually uh, made the level 6 or the level 7 troops have a bit of red in them I think that would have been really sick and it's just a little bit disappointing it seems like they kind of recycled a little bit you know on the level 7 troops and weren't, you know, extremely, uh, they weren't extremely unique. Right here I get a million in loot before the league bonus and 1.15 afterwards. So another really insane raid with uh, archers, barbs, and giants and stuff like that. So at first, alright, Supercell introduced the level 6 bear or level 6 dark barracks, okay. Then they did another one, another sneak peek that said, I smell fireworks, and it just kind of showed a little part of the troop that it really looked a lot like a golem to me. Then the next day today, uh, they said, introducing the level hound, this py pyrotechnic pooch loyally targets the nearest air defense. Okay, now this, I don't want to rant about it, but I think it's really fucking dumb, to be honest with you. Uh... It looks like a golem, a minion, and a hog rider mix. Uh, what is it called? It's called the Lava Hound. I'm, you're not really going to be hearing me call it that on my channel too much. I'm probably just going to call it a flying pig because that's exactly what it looks like. Uh, I've been saying that like for like the past two days, and I even saw Godson tweet out. I think he called it a flying pig as well, which I thought was pretty hilarious. I was like, good thing I'm not the only one that thinks that. But anyways... Um, I mean, I think I think it looks kind of cool. I saw, you know, some in-game gameplay of it on Chief Patch channel, and I think it looks pretty cool overall, but it just wasn't necessary. I wish that they were a little bit more unique with it, you know, and, uh, like, why do we need a new flying troop? I'm pretty sure last I checked, uh, last I checked, the flying troops were a little bit overpowered uh, from the, you know, all level 4 dragon attacks were a little bit OP. Also, the all, uh, the balloonian raids, the balloons and minions 
were a little bit overpowered, you know, a little bit too easy to get 50% on, on these big Tunnel 10 bases with all these buildings outside, and etc. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's my opinion on that. I think it looks pretty cool, but I don't think it's necessary to add any more flying troops. I think that the flying troops should be really special, in my opinion. They shouldn't just be, you know, like regular troops flying around that anybody has in, in, in any raid, you know. I think that they should be more rare, a rarity in the game, you know what I mean? And uh, that's just my personal opinion. Leave your comment, leave, leave some comments down in the comment section below. What do you think of this new flying troop? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you think that uh, you kind of like it, but it wasn't really necessary? You would have hoped for something different. Uh, and the sneak peeks, people were talking about, you know, the Lava Hound, and I actually saw some pictures on Twitter, you know, of a Lava Hound that they were expecting, and it looked a lot cooler than this one. Uh, it looked a lot cooler than this one. I think, yeah, like I said, it just looks like a hog, a minion, and a golem in one, and they just added a little bit of lava, so I was just, I was a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit disappointed in it, but I still think it's kind of cool. We'll have to see how it pans out. You know, I don't want to speak too soon. I don't I, I don't want to hate on Supercell either. So, uh, yeah. Enough about that. Uh, yeah, just leave, leave some comments down in the comment section below. Like I say, what do you think about everything in the update? Also, uh, it is it's anticipated that they're going to make level 13 archer towers. And looking at the gameplay of that new troop with uh, the Balloonian Raid and the Dragon, I think, I just think it's way overpowered, you know? Like, like <laughs> it's the Balloonian was already overpowered. Now we got this massive thing tanking like a golem. I mean, I don't know. They should have worked on the ground game a bit more, in my opinion, because uh, it's just a little bit too cliche. It's almost like dragons way back in the day when... Uh, George Yao was just spamming dragons up to the number one spot, you know, because it was a little bit too easy. And now it's going to be kind of the same thing with the Balloonian and this uh, flying pig meister. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what else? What else did I want to talk about to you guys? I don't know. It's not really too much else for me to talk about today. Uh, sorry if I sound tired. Like I said, I've been really tired lately. Just been busy, been really busy, busy, busy. And that's why I haven't got out any videos lately. But, oh, yeah. One more thing I can talk about is I'm really waiting, 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 waiting for these last two computer parts to come in. The only thing that I need as of now is the tower to put all my stuff in and the, uh, what is it, the motherboard. I have everything else for it other than the graphics card. I think I'm going to hold out a little bit on the graphics card because apparently it's not a necessity. Uh, my processor, whatever, my CPU uh, is going to come with a little graphics card built in and hopefully that should be decent hopefully it'll be sufficient for streaming from what i heard it will be so i'll probably wait a little bit on the graphics card i don't really know yet but i mean because it is kind of expensive and cyber monday is coming right around so i'll probably get a really good deal on it around then i kind of wish i would have waited for everything on my computer till cyber monday but no 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 i'm trying to get this computer in as soon as possible so i can start streaming and uh, just uploading more frequently and getting this fan out of the background, etc. You guys know the whole nine yards. Uh, yeah, but that's pretty much all I had to talk about today. I can't really think of anything else, but I'm really excited for this new update. Oh yeah, one more thing. Some people are saying that they think that there might be a Town Hall 11 in this update, and I really hope that that's not true. I really hope that that is not true because I'm not ready for Town Hall 11. I'm pretty sure almost, actually absolutely no one is ready for a Town Hall 11 that hasn't gemmed like hardcore. So, you know, no one no one has level 11 walls yet that hasn't gemmed. I mean, that's just a fact. Like, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I could just 100% say it's a fact. Uh, also, what else is it? What else? What else? Uh, yeah, we just need some time to work on our heroes and work on our walls as tunnel tenors that uh, just farm a lot. So right here you can see like seven, 750k on that one, some pretty solid raids in this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Uh, that's pretty much it for the video today. Uh, yeah, I'm highly anticipating this update. I'm pretty stoked for it. Also, I heard that the hero uh, regeneration time is going to be significantly reduced, which is a major plus. Also, I heard that the Valkyrie, uh, the time that it takes to make a Valkyrie is going to be significantly reduced as well, which has been, you know, kind of 
kind of long awaited and needed. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. It's Killer for the win. Signing out. Peace.